Joe is one of the most passionate people I've ever met. He's so creative. Sometimes I don't know where he comes up with the ideas that he comes up with. He's a great musician. He loves shredding the keyboard, guitar, drums, anything like that. He loves his digital art. He loves robots. He loves dinosaurs. I love all of the, uh, the, the hot rods he makes and stuff like that. You know, it all sounds silly, but when you see his work, you're like, Oh wow, that looks pretty amazing. He's created robots using phone parts and he's created um, exosuits for sculptures using orange juice bottles and pieces of old PDAs. If he gets into it, he wants to get into it all the way and always wants other people to be as passionate about projects as he is. Seeing that passion that he has for his work and his art and, um, and education, and he's, he's just a wonderful person, I don't know. Every day, Joe would um, take Radar for a run because we have this dog that's just super high energy and crazy. He left about 6.20 in the evening, went on the trail, was on his way home, and waited for the light to turn red and the, and the crosswalk to go. And some um, girl, just not paying attention, ran the red light and hit him going full speed. Prob the, the state trooper basically told me that um, uh, he, she was going every bit of 45 miles an hour. I wasn't able to see him. This happened about 6.40 in the evening. I didn't even get to see him until probably midnight that night. And he was pretty beat up mentally and physically. He, um, looked at me and he said, I'm never gonna walk again. And I'm an artist with no hands. And knowing how passionate he is about his art, that's really, that was really hard to hear. Seeing Joe now, it's kind of hard at first, seeing him, my bigger brother, sitting there, not really able to do anything, but one of the first things he said was, hey partner, good to see you. So, it's, from my initial view, thinking that all was lost, you know, he let me know that he's still there and He's not going anywhere. He's definitely ready to soar again. There's so much with a spinal cord injury that um, requires a lot of medical care. Joe's main goal is to get his hands back so he can do art. Um, you know, he said, he told me that his legs really aren't even, although he's upset obviously that he can't walk, but all he cares about is getting his hands back so that he can do that again. I'm just really looking forward to getting mobile again, hopefully getting my hands and working again so I can do what I do best and that's put content in the world and and make images and art that hopefully people, you know, look at and appreciate. And uh, I just, I just really want to be normal again <laughs> and get back out there and, and do good work for everybody. So hopefully I can get that done sooner or later. I just want to say I love everybody and thank you again for your support. <laughs>